Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you, and this time I'm going to show you how to create a bootable recovery media in case you need to restore your Macrom Reflect backup and the computer isn't working to just browse for the files. So when you're in Macrom Reflect, you would go up to the top menu under other tasks and you'll see the first option is to create rescue media. Once you go in there, you can choose what you want to use as the recovery media and you should be able to see your USB hard drive in here. You can select that and say build. You can keep all the defaults. You don't need to change anything else. You have to agree to these two things here. You have to confirm that this rescue environment will only be used to back up this computer and also that this rescue environment will only be used to restore a backup of this computer or it's direct replacement. So if you had to buy another computer and you want to restore onto that, that's fine too. So as long as you agree to those things, the OK button lights up and you can move forward. It now begins the process of creating the rescue media and you can see how quickly it's already started popping up on my screen and it's gone back to it again here where it's continuing to create the media. You can then see that it pops up saying that the rescue media was created successfully. So you can click OK and just close this window that's here. And you can even close out of Macrom Reflect. When you open up the Windows Explorer, you'll see that there's a drive letter for Macrom underscore PE, which is your recovery environment. And if you click into it, you'll see there's a folder called boot, which is allowing you to boot the computer along with these boot configuration files. If we go back to this PC, there should be another partition where you can then do the backups to, but it doesn't exist at this time. So we need to add it. I'm going to show you how to do that now as well as how to manage if there's any errors. So if you're doing your recovery media and you come across an error message like this, you haven't truly run out of space because this is a new drive or at least it should be. And so we just need to go into the disk management and fix it from there. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. While in disk management, it shows that it's taking up the entire physical drive, which is wrong. So we right click on it, go to delete volume and say yes to delete it. Then it will show that that drive is entirely unallocated space and we're able to go back to Macrom Reflect and attempt to create the boot media again. And now that we've created the rescue media successfully, there is still one more step to go. We'll just close all this stuff first. Now, if you go into Windows Explorer, you'll see the partition drive here for Macrom underscore PE, which is the bootable drive. But there should be another drive here where we can store the backups and it's not there. So here's how we can fix that. Now that we're in the disk management again, you'll see the partition that we have here for booting. And it's just big enough for boot, but the other partition is huge and unallocated. So we'll right click on it, go to new simple volume, hit next, leave the defaults, next. It's got the drive letter. We just keep all the defaults as fine, unless you want to rename the name of the drive so that it makes more sense to you. Then you would just hit next and finish and it allocates that drive. It pops up saying to format it, but you can cancel that. It, it shouldn't pop up like that because it is already formatted. And you can see here a second or two later, it pops up showing the drive is formatted. So I'll just close and cancel out of all those windows that pop up. And you'll see in Explorer, it now has that other drive partition. So we've got the bootable one there with the Macrom PE and then we've got the other one with the name that we gave it if you did give it a name. So now that drive is available for you to use and start backing up to. And that's it for how you can do the Macrom Reflect Recover All Media. If you did find this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.